So last week my drone ended up in the trees as my remote lost connection to the drone. You can watch my other video on how it happened and today we are going to see how to fix this broken gimbal. Let's go. It's my drone sitting up in my uh, dining table and it looks like I'm about to dissect a frog here. But anyway, so there are four tiny screws that you need to remove from the drone and you can just use a screwdriver that came with the drone. So that's step one. Based on my experience, I would highly recommend to get the pry tool. It's like uh, 10 bucks or so in Amazon. I didn't have one, so I went with whatever I had at home. It will probably save you a lot of time and probably some headache as well. Once I had the front side open, it was really difficult for me to open the middle part. Uh, that's where it kind of curves. So I decided to uh, start from the back side. And you got to be careful here because they placed this uh, sticker there. That's your uh, warranty sticker. And obviously, uh, you know, you're going to break that sticker and there goes uh, your warranty. Take your time and don't uh, rush the process. You don't want to hurry up and uh, break those uh, plastic tabs. The top cover sits really tight in the, on the drone. So again, I would highly recommend uh, those uh, prying tools. I had to go with uh, whatever I had. Here it is, finally. I think all the tabs are good. I did not break anyone, so we are good. So the next step is to uh, fix the gimbal. So the gimbal mechanism is attached to the drone body on its four corners with a tiny rubber sleeve or rubber gasket. And I guess uh, they came out of the socket when it uh, crashed uh, on the tree branches. To attach the gimbal to the body, you need a soft flat tipped spurger and uh, tweezers. It will be really hard to put it back without the tweezers. You can save a lot of time if you can get some help. You can ask someone to push it from one side, then now uh, you can use the tweezer and pull it from the other side. When you pull it from the other side, don't pull it straight. Uh, I would highly recommend pull it along the side so it will easily slide in and it will lock in its place. Okay, one done and uh, two more to go. Here is a closer look on how it uh, sits uh, on the body. Okay, two more to go and we have to repeat the same process and attach those two uh, gaskets to the drone body. Um, to me, uh, these ones are a little bit harder compared to the other ones as there is not uh, much space available. But, you know, same process, pull from one side and push from the other. That looks good. And then uh, the last one. Uh, there's a lot of uh, sensitive electronics on the back side of the drone. So just make sure that you don't miss those things. All done. Here is a closer look on the front ones. And now uh, the back ones. There you go. Let's do a quick test. Uh, just gonna wiggle it gently and it looks attached properly. So I think we are good. Finally, let's put the cover back and uh, snap it in uh, place. It took me, uh, I would say around two hours to fix this. Uh, most probably because uh, I did not have proper tools to start with. I would have probably saved a lot of time and a headache if I just waited for my uh, toolkit to arrive from Amazon. I hope you don't crash your drone and if you do crash, uh, it's a relatively mm -hmm. easy fix to uh, uh, fix your gimbal. Uh, thanks for watching. Later. Bye.